everybody. Uh, today I'll be polishing this Septarian nodule that I found a little bit ago. I've already started working on it a little bit using this wheel. Uh, it's just a grinder wheel, you know. I've been working up here a little bit. Probably going to start back here. Did a little bit right there, but what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll polish this whole back side and this whole side right here. And I'll leave this face completely raw and uh, this part right here and right in here. So then I'll polish like this and then I'll come up like that. So I'll polish like that and they'll come up and then I'll polish all this and then this but then I'll leave this for the most part raw. So that's my plan is. Also, be gonna be grinding on this fresh dry wood a little bit because I it was a little too big for the saw, so then put some big deep marks in it because I did adjust it. So I'm gonna be grinding that down also, but that'll be in a separate video. Um, so yeah, for the first stage, I'll be using this wheel. This is like a big gritty wheel. It grinds this stuff down really quickly, so hopefully it won't take too long. And I'm doing this dry, so I got my mask on. I got my mask on here, you can see. Um, got my earmuffs because it's a little bit loud. Gonna... You can hear it's a little bit loud. And got my goggles so I don't get nothing in my eye. So. So, so that's the setup I'm going to be using for the first rounding down stage. And then after that, I'll be using sandpaper because the sandpaper works better for the softer material that I've learned than using like polishing pads or anything like that. So I'm going to use sandpaper. Um, I polished one of these, I cut and polished one of these yesterday and I didn't know how it turned out. So I didn't make a video or anything, but I'll put photos after this so yeah you can see the cut polish one I did yesterday
Okay. Uh. <laughs> dust on camera. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I've polished, ground this down fairly well. Um, probably gonna do a little more because you can see there's still little divots here and there. There's a little more here. But you can see there's a bunch of uh, grind marks that'll come out in the sandpaper. Uh, but you can see I've nearly completed this edge. Kind of rounded off there and up in there. Kind of did a little bit up there, but. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah. So, probably gonna do a little more here. So, yeah. <sighs> Back to working. I've got the thingy ground down that much. Um, I'm going to do the, this part now. Part. Anywho, um. Okay, um, I am nearly done with this, so I finished this side, of course, but then I rounded it over here, and I, for the most part, this back side is done, just need to go in there, and a little bit more at the top, hardest part is going to be grinding down into that little whole thing started a little bit right there but still quite a bit to go so I'm probably gonna grind this pretty well kind of open it up then I'm gonna grind up and around like that and take that out and then I'm just gonna grind inside the hole and then make it all smooth inside the hole down right in here just gonna grind this away. I'm gonna do a little bit right there, a little right there, maybe a little more up there. But then this, I'm gonna have to grind all that away right there. And then, so yeah, grind this and then come over this way and grind all that. So yeah, that's the plan for that. Okay, um, I have knocked this part down a little more, and I'm starting to get into here, and I got that, then I have to polish this top more, grind that down. So, this bottom part for the most part is all done, it's just up in here, that's left, so yeah.
finished the grinding process. So we got the whole thing ground down that I wanted. You can see I got that all ground down. Now I'm gonna take a diamond polishing pad and I'll knock all these weird grooves off and ridges see from like Paul uh, using the grinder so yeah I'll do that now okay uh, the next stage will be using polishing pad to get on here and grind down all these weird edges and get it for the most part a little more smoothed out and so yeah I'm going to be using a 50 polishing pad grit for this stage um, not sure how long it'll take me maybe 10 minutes but yeah pads I have finished this side for the most part uh, you could see it's a lot smoother than like over here where it's got all these grooves or whatever but yeah I've started down here a tiny bit but yeah so I finished this should look like this smooth the whole way around once I'm finished with it. Deep holes are going to be the hardest part. Hardest parts you can see that. Pretty deep. Same with right there. One's pretty deep-ish. Yeah. So, it's turning out pretty nice so far. I start to see the veins of aragonite and then the difference between limestone and the uh, veins start to see the color a little more hopefully it'll look like that reddish black color eventually so yeah uh, I'll keep at it
Okay, um, I finished the sanding with the, the pad. Um, so you can see the veins are popping a lot better. Um, there isn't those grooves or nothing. There might be a little grooves. I noticed there's some tiny grooves along the edges here and there, but nothing to worry about. Like up there, there's a little one right there, I think. But and over on this side, but those uh, can't notice them too much, and it's not that big of a deal because it's just on the edge. So you can see the veins are popping a lot more. Start to see the color. So yeah. Next stage, sanding with some sandpaper. So yeah, uh, I'll get sanding with the sandpaper now. Okay, I'm on the sanding stage now because got all the big grooves out of this thing. Um, gonna be using some sandpaper. Uh, I'm gonna start with some 80 grit sandpaper uh, just to get it even more smooth and whatever and then I'm gonna go on to uh, 120 to 180 to 220 then 400 and 600 I'm gonna start it stop at 600 because that's the highest sandpaper that I have but then for Stage four, uh, I'm going to use this powder called cerium, o cerium oxide. Uh, that should give it a really nice polish. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use the sandpaper to get it all nice and shiny and detailed. Okay, uh, I finished the 120 grit. Um, and I'm going to go into the 180. So you can see the big scratches for the most part are all out start to see the color more starting to get a little more shiny so yeah um, I'll get finished with the 180 grit I, uh, I finished the 600 grit and that's all I'm going to do for polishing with sandpaper but I'm going to use some cerium oxide polish to give it a really nice polish and make those details even uh, easier to see you can see the veins very well that color deep red color you can see the separation very well between the limestone and the aragonite and hopefully that cerium oxide will make the shine and detail much much better so yeah um, I'll start to polish this with the cerium oxide my setup for using the cerium oxide it's this stoof here got like a little it'll stir it up into this um and i got this one pad i can use for like larger surfaces like that or like back here and i got this thing that uh it's another one somewhere around here i don't know where it went but this thing can get in there and get in those smaller grooves and whatever. Nah, oh, it's the other one down there. I'm going to be using the drill. So just getting on in there. Giving it a nice, nice cool shine. Really start to see it out here in this lighting. So yeah, starting to look real cool.
Okay, um, got the thing completely finished. Um, since this stuff is really soft, there's some scratches here and there that just came up, uh, uh just came all of a sudden for some reason. Don't really know why they still were there, but you could. Like there's some scratches which are really annoying. But cerium oxide give it a nice polish. Some scratches down there also. Made it really nice and smooth. Made the colors come out a lot. Especially over here, they're really dark. So yeah, that's the finished product. Um, here's also the raw side. Um, if you like the video, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because that would really help out the channel a lot. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.